all the tracks. I do want to show you, it's actually been here a couple of days. I saw it yesterday on the right hand side of the water here. If you look at those sort of circular patterns. That's where some buffalo wallowed. I think about two days ago, probably, like I said, I saw it the first time yesterday. See nice soft mud. You can imagine a one ton animal or a little bit less, eight, nine hundred kilograms. Big buffalo just rolling around in that, leaving little sort of round indentations, I guess you could call it. Otherwise, Trias Dam is very quiet. A couple of oxpeckers calling, they were sitting up in the tree here. They just flew off. Maybe they just came for a drink. Of course, they could come from Rhino, but they could also have been. Nearby on some impala or buffalo or kudu, a whole lot of different hosts for that here. I think we're going to go back to that area but Zoe's Road, Rebecca's Road. Just go look around again, see if we don't maybe find something in those rhinos. See this? See the hornbill up there, Rob. Just stop a little bit further away. Ah, uh, just doing this great display. Maybe still see one in there. It's just a little bit to the light now. And the one that we spotted first was doing exactly that, but just with a lot more effort into it, really spreading their wings out and calling. These are grey hornbills. I know you can't see the colours on it at the moment. We're looking almost straight towards the sun, but grey billed or grey hornbills. Very similar size and shape to the more typical yellow billed and red billed. It's just a little bit more slender, a little bit less common around here, and also tend to be slightly shyer. So we don't see them that often, but they do a similar display. Also, wings open. The, the yellow billed hornbill just makes a much deeper sort of quack, 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 quack. Whereas these guys have that whistle that you could hear. Something like that, not quite like it, but similar to that. I think they've finished. More and more displays we'll try and show you as well. Summertime now, many of these birds have to display male to male or male to female, showing off, showing how fit and healthy they are, maybe intimidating another male. Very important parts of, of animal behavior in general, but um, so also for your birds to display, attract mates, chase other potential um, competitors obviously you get lots more displaying and, and vocalizing in, in um, summertime. Sorry, I just thought I saw something but it's too much mount so it is something but nothing of major interest. Let's go look around. It's